Hey guys, good morning. It is Tarek with Cyclone FPV. It is currently, uh, let's see, 6.47 in the morning. I've been up since about 4.30 trying to get some work done. And I thought, you know what, as I'm cleaning the shop up and getting ready to do some new things, this would be a great, to, sorry, I'm cleaning while I'm talking. This would be a great time to show you guys a few things that I'm bringing into the store and bringing online for you guys to use and kind of go over them real, real briefly, real quick, okay? But this is going to follow up with the new, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, unbiased, unsponsored, paid for, um, meaning I paid for it, um, testing, right, on different equipment, whether it's drone-related equipment, whether it's tools that we use to do um, hobbies with, uh, like soldering iron, screwdriver, screws, I mean, everything. So I spent the last six months or so, maybe even a year, I guess, depending on how long you go back, um, trying to find tools. Uh, it's real easy to get out there and buy some real expensive stuff if you've got the money to do it, but unfortunately, all of us pretty much hit those times where, you know, we're stuck. We've got Let's say, for example, a soldering iron that's $175 for a whole uh, setup, a rework station. And then we've got a soldering iron uh, that is, without the rework station, let's say, uh, some that range from 20 bucks to 120 bucks, right? And the question is, uh, for example, in this case, like, what am I going to use? What do I want to do? Especially now that we're focusing a lot on the schools starting drone programs, and I'm seeing teachers who are not really familiar with this try to figure out what solder do I need, what soldering iron do I need, what solder mat do I need, what holders do I need, what cleaners do I need, and it, I mean, the question goes on and on, right? And so here's what I've done. Um, I have invested a lot of time, uh, I would say more time than money at this point, but it's getting very close. Um, and let me put a picture in picture here real quick so I can show you. Okay, so I did a video recently and this was part of it, and I know my camera seems to be crooked, but I cannot figure out why. Let me see if I can. Well, now it's bouncing all over the place, but I think that actually might be okay. All right, so, um, you know, I did one on, on testing the um, the actual solder itself, right? And I compared uh, one of the brands that we're going to have labeled, which is going to be this one, which is going to be a Cyclone FPV label. And then I took, let me grab this here. I went and found some common things, like this is a very common one I found on some sites and out of China, which, you know, both of them are going to be, uh, if you look at these, uh, they're going to be uh, 6337. Okay, solder, and I did a video on that recently. Some of them come in these little travel boxes here, or these little travel containers of 10 grams. Um, and this was terrible, okay? That's why it's in this box. Um, and so I thought, well, golly, everybody's getting ripped off on this stuff. So we found good stuff, on good solder, which you'll find on our site, which I want to show you real quick. Let me do a split screen here. Not a split screen, but I, I guess we'll do it like this, okay? Let's try like, whoops, hold on. I hate trying to figure this out. Nope. There. All right, so let's try that, okay? So let's see, this would be to my left and then to my right. I don't know if you guys see it that way, but okay, so this side is the product and this side is the mat that I'm looking at down here. Okay, so one of the, a lot of the things, and obviously you're gonna see here it says out of stock and that's because we just got a ton of this in um, and I just, I have to do this. I do, I do all the entry on the website, so I have to do the quads, fix them, repair them, still do the website and update. I'm still looking to hire some people, but right now it's a little tough. Um, so bear with me, sorry, as I add new product here. Uh, what says out of stock is actually in stock. I just have to put the quantities and all that, but let me show you what we're looking at, right? So the new helping hands. Man, these things get expensive, but I found a great set that I'm really happy with. I'll demo it to you guys shortly, but I got it down to where we can offer it for 20 bucks. Um, I Even the set that I had where I had my name, the Cyclone FPV name put on it, I'm like, by the time it's done and shipped and everything gets here, it's like, what, 30 bucks maybe, 38 bucks, something like that. I can't justify it. Just because my name would go on it and I pay for that doesn't mean that you guys should have to pay a higher price. So I said, okay, let's find a manufacturer that we can get at a low price on this. This one with six arms was perfect and it's what I'm going to be using now. And that's something I want to point out to you guys real quickly is nothing that's on this side. Like, for example, I, if you look at my bench now, and I can only show you so much because this camera doesn't give me a wide enough angle. I have replaced everything that I use, including my including my uh, light here, which is my famous light that everybody always saw me looking through. This is not the one that you saw in my videos before. I've now replaced it with the ones that I'm selling after researching and finding affordable lights. So here's a magnifier with light. This is it right here. And it's I've got it at 79. And the funny part is, is it's not even an expensive light. The shipping and everything is what makes it really expensive, but it's still cheaper than what I found uh, that I can get um, and I can offer. It's brighter. It's got more angles of movement, and so I went with this route. And I'll, I'll show you a demonstration and comparison later on in the videos on this one. Right now, my focus is going to be on soldering supplies, right? And the reason is because I find that that's where the biggest confusion and markup seems to be. So um, 
so as you can see here, I use, and if you look at all my videos, I use the, um, what was it, the Xtronic, oh, the rework station, I can't remember, but it was like a $280 rework station, and I swore by it, and I do. I think Xtronic is a great brand, but it's not practical for students, and it's not practical for um, teachers or for the average user. It's really not practical for me as I'm building a new building now, and we're having a workstation for everybody. We're going to have like a 20-station setup for drone, for, uh, you know, uh, not just drone, I mean, cars, everything for people to come in and actually work on the product in-house um, and, and be able to kind of, you know, share ideas. Well, putting 20 of those stations or 30 of those stations or whatever it is, it's very expensive. So I spent time trying to find the best deals possible. And I'm going to tell you flat out, I came down to this soldering iron right here and uh, I got it. Uh, the price is down to $49.99 with the heat gun, comes with the tips, uh, sorry, with the heat gun tips. And it does come with a sharp soldering tip, uh, which is not going to help you at all. And I mean, very fine point, which would be for like, maybe some micro soldering or something along those lines, but I did not find it to be very helpful for drones. So then I went and researched tips that I could find that would be aftermarket. And I found some of those too. And it's very inexpensive, extremely inexpensive. And you really only need one. So, um, but it says it's not available right now, but I've actually got one sitting on my bench right here. And the reason I've got it, all I can do is show you this and I can show you it's not on because I'm holding the, the iron on it, right? But I'm going to put it in here right now so you can watch it during the video. And I want to show you in comparison because I did compare this to the Xtronic in terms of heating time and, and, and the, the quality and so forth. And I'm extremely impressed with it. So if I'm going to sell it, I'm going to use it. It's not a, this is a, this is not a do as I say, not as I do kind of uh, business, at least not in my perspective. If I'm going to try to sell you something and tell you it's good, then I have to be using it myself. If I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to sell it to you. All right. There's no way for me to do that. And I don't think that that shows that I stand behind a product at all. Remember now, nobody paid for any of this. This is me paying for it. So I didn't get anything as a sample. Oh, here, try this, see what you think. So I'm not going to give you some ratings so I can get more free crap. This is me telling you that after weeding things out, this is what I found to be good. So this is the first thing we're going to focus on. The second, which I don't have on my page right now. Now, these little things like these tip cleaners and stuff, I'm using one over here. You can't see it because it's set aside. I don't want any of those metal pieces to hit the table here. But, um, uh, it's what I'm using. It's simple. There's nothing really big to that. This soldering mat, it's what I've got right here. And I'm going to tell you by far, after years of working on these things, this is the best mat I've ever had. With magnetic pieces, you've got little containers here to, to, to keep your product in, your screws. Uh, you could put screws over here and it's magnetized all the way through. Um, you know, they'll just stick to here. And as you can see, if it wasn't magnetic, let me see if I can demonstrate how, it, how it's magnetic. Um, uh, well, I guess... I was trying to get it to stand up straight. I know I could do that somewhere like here. Uh, well, it's all magnets. So there you go. I, I don't know. I guess if I throw it, you see it stick. There's magnets here, uh, here, uh, I believe here, and then there's magnets even right there. Okay. So I love this and it's thick and it's really good. It's got a definite cutouts to put your stuff while you're building. Excellent, right? Um, I'm using this spool holder now, very inexpensive. Uh, and uh, I've got that now with my solder in it. Um, sitting over there, though you can't see it, but it's on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this right now, okay? And I'm going to look at something else, and that is this one right here. Now, I have not been a fan of these uh, in the past, but I wasn't going to give up because I knew that some schools and some students needed these. So I said, okay, I'm going to keep trying until I find one that works. And basically what this is, is this is an Olin one, right? It's a 60 watt, uh, 110 volt. The cool thing about this one is it, it's, here's the package actually, right? It's nothing fancy on the package. I don't pay to get anything done fancy. This is, you want quality product at low price, this is how we do it. Um, but you get a set of tips inside, okay? And you get this little dinky stand, which it is dinky. I'm not going to lie to you. I'd probably upgrade that first. Um, but you get this soldering iron with everything built in. So I've taken one out. Now it's off. Both of these are off. There's no, there's no, um, no power to either of them. And none of them have been like pre, pre-warmed or sitting here warming. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to test for you the amount of time it takes to heat up and also the quality of it. So let me plug this. Sorry, I'm trying to reach over here and plug this in because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them on side by side. If I can find the stupid plug, bear with me. There, all right. So what we've got here, right? Now let me just kind of move this out of the way. So what we've got here is we've got uh, two different soldering irons. The first one is gonna be this one right here, all right, which is $49.99. And it's got the heat gun and everything. And the second one is gonna be this one right here, which is an all-in-one. A unit okay now I've got to get my glasses because I've got to be able to read this so hold on one second okay so the way I figured we would test this is 
and I'm going to turn them both on at the same time. And I'm going to look here, and it's going to, I'm, it's got a range of 200 degrees Celsius up to 450, I believe. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to 330, okay? So let me go ahead and turn this up to 330. Make sure I've got power to this thing first. And we're going to take it to what it labels. Let me make sure I need my magnifying glass for that. Uh, let's say it's going to be somewhere in this range. So I've got it between 315 and 350. So I'm going to let that heat up. Okay. And we'll start the clock here. I need to get my clock. So I, I guess I'm a little late on doing that part. But let's see if I can get my timer started. And my clock is really, really, my, my phone is really dirty. But anyways, let's get it started. Okay. And I'm going to turn this one on. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set this one to three, uh, 320, 330. So here's how we're going to test this, right? I'm just going to grab one. I'm going to take some solder. Uh, let me see. I'm going to cut two pieces of solder here. All right. And we're going to see what happens. Now, obviously, we're going to have a couple seconds between because I don't have a way to really hold both of them at the same time. But we're at 30 seconds right now. And what I want to do is see if this is ready to go. And right now it is melting that solder perfectly at 30 seconds, okay? Now I'm gonna take this one, roughly about the same time, and it's almost there, but it's not there yet. Okay, so we're gonna wait. So right now, this sucker right here shot up quickly, faster, okay? Now let me try this one again. Still waiting. All right, so I'm at about 50 seconds or so to get this one going, all right? So this one in about 30, this one in about 50, okay? So right off the bat, now let me clean both of these real quick, get them all cleaned up and ready to, ready to go again. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you that what I thought, what I stayed away with before with this soldering iron, this style, because there are some cheap versions of this, right? And, and, and they don't work or they don't heat up quick enough. Um, now, to be fair, this one is set at 320. This one I tried to put at 330. Maybe it's a little bit warmer, but I'm gonna tell you flat out, this is an awesome soldering iron, and once it gets going, it's perfect. I love it. And for $49.99 for this one, I will be using this from now on, okay? Without a doubt, I'll be using it. And I'm sure that if I had cranked it up to maybe 330, it would have, but still, even it's getting to that heat, getting to 320 took a little while, uh, probably about uh, 20 seconds longer than this one, okay? But look at this thing. I mean, it's perfect. The tip is great. Everything on it is great. And I'll be honest with you, this is gonna be a very inexpensive uh, soldering iron that we're gonna use. So for students or for anybody, now now uh, let me move this aside here real quick and just put the stand. This is the stand that comes with it, okay? And I don't know if you're supposed to put it like this or you turn it away from you and put it like that. But my guess is that I'm just gonna angle it and just leave it like this and let it sit. Now, I don't like this setup. I think that it, for kids, it would be a little too dangerous, especially with the wire sitting here. So there's a couple options. I had this option here, which will hold this and also hold the roll of solder, right? Which I thought was pretty good. And you can put your sponge here, or cleaner here. Um, there are some other options that we had. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Here's one right here. I gotta reach without putting this down. This is one that we're also doing on the site, which I did test this and I liked it. Uh, it'll hold the iron perfectly and also give you a roll to hold your uh, solder and then feed it through, plus put your sponge and your cleaner right here. And one of the things that we're using is this rosin cleaner here, which will also be on the site. I mean, I, I like it a lot. You just dip the dip the um, tip in there and then run it through that uh, sponge, uh, the metal sponge, put it back. You see a little bit of smoke, but I'll tell you what, that tip's going to stay perfectly clean the whole time. And it's going to stay tinned up, okay? And I'll do the same thing here. All right, so I'll run it through. And then I'll go ahead and run it onto the sponge. And look how clean that is, okay? That is exactly what we want. I guess I can stop the clock, okay? So the idea here is to find product. Oh, and this has its own stand. Uh, since I can't move it, I've already fastened it down, but it looks very similar to this stand, the soldering iron. You can see it in the picture there, um, but I've already got it fastened down to where it can't move, but it's kind of similar to this one here. Um, so let me put that back in there. So I guess, uh, guys, the whole purpose of this video, right, is to demonstrate to you things that I find affordable uh, that I think are going to be very helpful. Now, I don't have this on our site yet because it just came in, but I've got a few hundred of these uh, on order. Well, probably about a, probably get about a thousand of them in shortly. Um, but you're talking about something like sub 10 bucks, right? Um, that is a full all-in-one that comes with the tip already that you need. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can maybe buy the stand for it. We're going to be selling these stands 
they're 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 not very expensive at all um you can get that one or you can get the one that's just standalone without it or you can use what comes with it for now but the idea here is to try to provide something to to i want cyclone fpv to be your all-in-one stop right and to do that i have to be able to um, provide to you product that I would use and, and, and not just stuff that, oh yeah, here, buy this, but it's not something that I think is my quality. I think the, the, the new lights that I got in, I mean, they're super bright. Let me show you. Um, and part of the reason is it's using, well, I guess I just blacked myself out there. Uh, part of the reason is it's using a huge fluorescent light instead of LED. And I get that, you know, LED for, for uh, power consumption, but at the end of the day, I need to be able to see these components. They're very small. And what I was using before was LED. When I tested these out, I was like su surprised at how much more light I got. So what you can plan on is, uh, like the glue guns, we're gonna be carrying these new glue guns, right? So I've been using the glue guns, um, and uh, you know I've been using this regular blue one. You've seen it in my videos. So I went and I got with manufacturers to find out what we could use that would be more affordable. I found it, it's awesome, it's fast. I got the glue sticks for you. And what I did with the glue sticks was, instead of buying them, um, let me see, like this, right? They come sized already. I got with the manufacturers and asked to make me like maybe 20,000 or 30,000 sticks, but leave the length because you pay labor to cut them, right? There's, there's always labor involved when you start making things smaller or you get less quantity or you ask for more, for more work to be done before it's done. So I said, forget it, leave them long. So this is what they're gonna come out like. Let me grab one real quick, it wasn't, okay. So this is a, I'm gonna do this in comparison. This is a normal glue stick, all right? Oh, sorry, this one is, right? That you'd buy Amazon, what have you. This is the ones that we're getting in, okay? Now look, you can see that there's a huge length difference. So what I said was, look, give me this one for almost the same price as one of these. I can get the full one. And then guys, when you get them, cut them. All you gotta do is just come in and measure it how you want. Cut it, let me show you. Boom, just like that. Now, I didn't have to pay the factory to cut them for me. I cut it myself. They're gonna run perfect, but you save a ton of money, okay? So these are the kind of things that I'm spending a ton of time and a lot of money on like our new tools that we got. These are very affordable. I'm using them only now um, because if we can sell them to you, sell them at a discount, and you can see me using them and see other people using them, you're gonna realize this is good stuff. You don't have to spend a ton of money. All right, so for today, what I wanted to show you was the soldering irons, right? And now I'm done with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Like I said, I've had many of these before that felt cheap, that were cheap, that couldn't heat up properly. Man, I got this one in and I was extremely impressed. So I've got a, a few hundred of these, and I believe behind those, another thousand coming in. So I'm gonna be able to supply this to you guys and I will have the website updated. It is Saturday. I do have my kids this weekend, so it's family time. That's why I'm up early. Um, but look for our website. I will allow you to pre-order them because I know guys want to order now. Don't forget like our flux pens. I mean, we got new flux, new solder, new everything. Just trust me when I tell you that this is product that I'm testing and I'm using. Nobody's paying me. I don't get any benefits. So I'm not going to sit here and preach about something that I don't like just because somebody's given to me for free. Um, oh, that's it. All right. Listen, I won't take any more of your time. It's been 18 minutes and I probably wasted about 12 of it yip yapping. But my point is, is I just want to explain to you uh, what we're doing and uh, what you can expect. And this is how all our testing, if you look behind me, and one thing I do want to show you is if you look right there, let me make this bigger. Okay. There. If you look right behind me, right there. Right there, yeah, that's it. That's it, our new oscilloscope, right? Behind that is this huge machine, and I'll show it to you in another video, that is going to be doing battery testing for us. And here's what I've done. I've spent probably 10 grand on this, maybe even more now, I have no idea. But it is a system that will take lipos and cycle them for me. It'll charge them and discharge them at the rate that I tell predefined. And it'll do it and graph it 100 times, however many times I want. I think I've mentioned this before to you guys, but we're getting ready to do this, and we're gonna do it at our new shop too. Um, you're gonna get feedback. I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of uh, Sugar, uh, Sugar Rush Thunder Power RC's product. I now carry CNHL, and I've got some other lines too. But I'm gonna tell you, I've told them all the same thing. Your batteries are getting tested. Here's the criteria for, here's the criteria for testing. And the end result, I'm gonna post it. And if it doesn't uh, perform properly, we're not carrying it anymore. So there's no favoritism here. Uh, on the other side here, you're gonna see two benchmark machines right there. Uh, and there's a whole system behind me. Same thing, we're gonna put on motors and we're gonna run them with no load and we're gonna see if the KVs are even right. If they're winding their, if they're winding their uh, wires properly um, and getting the right KV that they're advertising. Again, I, I sell T-Motor, I sell Brother Hobby, I sell Emacs, I sell quite a few brands. If they don't live up to what they're doing, they're out. 
Because if I can't sell it to you guys, probably, if I wouldn't want to use it after I see the ratings and the testing, then I'm not going to sell it to you guys. All right, and we're doing that for everything. So plan on watching that, including frame testing, our frames against other frames, doing pressure tests. We may lose, fine. That means that we have to up our standards, right? So 2020 or 20, yeah, 2020, uh, 2020 is going to bring out this new way of doing things at, at Cyclone FPV. And we're going to put everybody to the test, including our own brands, okay? Anyways, until then, guys, have a great weekend. God bless. Spend time with your family. Remember, you don't know when that time comes to an end. Uh, so, uh, I mean, recently we just had somebody here. I mean, uh, ah, anyways, a poor, poor guy just came home from work, I guess, and was an unlucky person and then and, and got killed during a SWAT standoff. It was terrible. And it just reminds you that you don't know how much time you have. So please make the best of it with your family and your loved ones. Flying, you've always got time for that, okay? God bless, guys. Fly safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye.